away from the start, I can feel it in my heart, like All the way from the start Hey, what's going on out there? It's Sean Devine, and today I want to do a quick tutorial on how to do delay throws like the pros. Um, so if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say delay throw, I'm going to play you a song that I'm mixing that I use this technique on, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about as soon as you hear it. Uh, they use it in every kind of music imaginable, uh, from pop hits to you know anything that is recorded and mixed properly. This is a technique that uh, people are using to uh, give things a really cool vibe and also to fill spaces. There's just a number of uses for this. So once you learn um, how to do it and you kind of get a feel for the technique, it's very useful uh, for mixing and also just in the, uh, the process of putting together the song uh, to get it ready for your listeners. So let me go ahead and play this back so you can hear what I'm talking about. Play a little bit of this song. This is a track by Moses Stone. I'm mixing his album right now, and uh, I use this technique throughout this record. So let's play it back. This one is one for the radio. Moses Stone, yeah. Toast up, live life on the wild side. How you really gonna know if you don't try? Yeah, take it in. All right, so you heard the uh, the delay throws being used twice. Now there's uh, one right here. Moses Stone, yeah. Toast up, live life on the wild side. How you really gonna know if you don't try? Yeah. So wild side and don't try. I'm using delay throws. Now I'm going to show you the plugin that I'm using specifically, which is Echo Boy. Now this, you can use any plugin to do this. I personally prefer this because you have a lot of control over the sound of the echo uh, or the delay throw. Um, and it's really useful uh, for me because what I like to do with the, uh, the delay throw is rather than just make it sound like a dry echo, you know, like the exact same as the way he says it in the main vocal, I want to kind of add some flavor to it, make the delay throw unique. You can get really creative with how you mix your delay throws, which is what I did with this one. And I'm going to show you um, exactly what I did to kind of give it some flavor. Um, but let me just show you uh, first how to set up a delay throw. So depending on the DAW, it's going to be a little bit different. But uh, what I've done is on this uh, verse layer, I have a send, okay? And it is going to aux 7. And what is on aux 7 is the Echo Boy as well as a little bit of EQ. So I'm EQing the echo, um, or the delay there. So then what we do is we have automation happening that actually automates the send. So what I'm doing is I'm controlling the amount of this main vocal that I'm sending to aux seven. So what I'll do is let me play it back one more time and just watch these uh, automation marks, okay? And you'll see kind of how they're interacting. Let me move this over. Moses Stone, yeah. Toast up, live life on the wild side. Uh, how you really gonna know? Oh. How you really gonna know if you don't try? Yeah. Okay, so let me just exaggerate that. Let me uh, get my automation select. And so if I turn up the uh, send, it's gonna make the echo louder, okay? Toast up, live life on the wild side. Right? So, and also just by moving your automation, you control what words are going to be repeated. So right now I'm just really repeating when he says wild side, but if I move it, we can kind of uh, throw this entire phrase to the delay throw. Toast up, live life on the wild side. So it still just kind of catches wild side at the end, but um, you know, you can hear the other the the rest of the phrase kind of being echoed out. Okay, so let's jump in here and let me show you how we can really fine-tune the sound of our delay throw. So right now I've just got a, a default preset on the echo boy, which is essentially just going to be a dry echo, dry signal. Life on the wild side pretty basic, uh, kind of bland. 
So, but that's kind of your starting point, right? And right now, the cool thing about the Echo Boy is we're on master tape. So we've got all these different styles. And what these are is they're just settings for our EQ, as well as diffusion, wobble, saturation. I'm not going to go into too much detail about uh, exactly what these are doing, but I'm going to show you how we can mess with them to affect the sound. Um, so let's go ahead and let's just play with this a little bit. For instance, let's say we wanted to uh, have it a little bit more of a uh, like a high cut sound. So I could just turn this high cut up, and then on the high frequency, let's just turn the gain down. Life on the wild side. Uh, how you really? Pretty cool. It's just kind of like a low filter there. Now let's play with this diffusion a little bit. Life on the wild side. Kind of gives us a like an ambience to the sound. Um, let's change the style. Let's do something a little more dramatic, like maybe ambient. Life on the wild side. Uh, kind of similar using the diffusion. Um, so again, that's I've got an EQ here that I use just to boost a little bit of the mids, and you can do the exact same thing I'm doing in the Echo Boy plugin with a uh, an EQ just in the chain on your send after the uh, the uh, delay or the echo plugin. So, but the flavors, the EQ in uh, the, the echo boy is really good. I like to use it. So let's just go back again to a, uh, a default. Let me go to, let's just do master tape and then let's turn off the EQ. The cool thing about this, this is a, a tip for y'all to really get creative with your delay throws is you can drastically change the way they sound by putting different effects on the end of your um, aux channel. So let's say you've got, in my channel right now, I have the Echo Boy, then it goes to the EQ, and then the third thing is a distortion. All right, let's say you wanted to put a distortion on there. I have the Devil Lock on here. So let me show you how you can get some really cool effects. You could use a flanger, you could use a phaser, all kinds of different effects to make your delay throws sound really cool. Life on the wild side. How you really gonna know if you don't try? Yeah. So again, you can just hear some very interesting effects. Obviously, that doesn't really match the track, but just as an example, again, there's so many possibilities. I use a lot of different effects on the end of my delay throw chain just to give it a unique flair. Cause like we were talking about at the beginning of the video, this is a technique that is used across the board. So you're gonna hear it all the time. If you haven't been noticing it, now you'll, you'll notice it when you listen to music, um, how present this is. So I think it's really important to use some of these techniques in terms of adjusting your uh, aux chain to make the delay throw sound your own and sound very unique. But again, this is a very powerful technique to use uh, to again fill in spaces to accentuate certain phrases and really just to make the vocal more interesting in your mix so if you have any questions feel free to uh, leave them below again really appreciate the likes and subscribes and we'll be back soon with more videos